everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite 3 pack review on the Amazon exclusive WWE Elite Tribal Chief versus Beast, Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Brock Lesnar 3 pack. Now when we first saw this set announced, I want to say it was like in a random album or something on WWE.com if I'm not mistaken, but this thing looks amazing. I honestly wish I had one mint on card. I think it was back up for order on Amazon, but it is Amazon exclusive. You cannot get this anywhere else, but I am loving Loving the way this thing looks. I think it looks fantastic. We have another former Brock here. You guys know how I feel about that. The Elite 99 Brock Lesnar and the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar got my top two. You know, number one Elite, number one Ultimate of 2022. And here we are early in 2023 with an amazing three pack right here. And I am super excited for it, man. As you guys can see here, on top you got WWE logo, Tribal Chief. It says Versus right there, but it's so light you can barely see it. It says the Beast Incarnate here. And then you got like some chains and some black and white artwork going on. There's Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, and Brock Lesnar right there. Very good looking figures. I can't wait to get them out here. WWE Elite Collection logo here. Roman Reigns, Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar includes Universal Championship Mattel logo here. On the side it says Elite Collection. Other side it's got a WWE logo. Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns and then another Elite logo. On the top it says Tribal Chief versus the Beast Incarnate. Again you got the Roman Reigns side and then the Brock Lesnar side over there which is really cool is you can see the Roman Reigns logo in the red and white and then on this side you can see the black and white with the Brock Lesnar tattoo and logo. And then if you spin it around to the back you do get get Tribal Chief versus the Beast Incarnate. You get an image of Lesnar there. You get Roman Reigns. You get Paul Heyman. And then you do have the bio read in the middle here, which I'll, I'll actually read it this time. After Roman Reigns successfully defeated John Cena at SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar returned to challenge the head of the table for the Universal Championship. All eyes turned towards one man, Paul Heyman, the former advocate for the Beast Incarnate, now the wise man who advised the bloodline. Would Heyman stand by his chief or help crown a new reigning, defending, undisputed Universal heavyweight champion, Barack Obama? Obama. Barack Lesnar. But that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. I'm going to crack this thing open and we're going to take a look at the contents of the box, take a look at the accessories, take a look at every single figure inside, and find out if this Amazon 3 pack is indeed worth the money you, pr you, you pay for it, which is what these reviews are all about. Let's dive into the details and crack open the Tribal Chief, the Beast, and the Heyman. All right, guys, so here's Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Paul Heyman out of the packaging. I am already enjoying this three-pack a lot, man. I am over the moon about a lot of these. I know you could say, well, the Roman Reigns is a re-release. Yeah, we, we get plenty of Romans, right? We get plenty of Romans, but I'm enjoying myself a lot right now. I, I'm enjoying all the stuff we're getting right here. What we're going to do is the same thing we do for all our other reviews, but we're going to put all of the accessories you get in this three-pack front and center, cover all of the accessories, and then we'll go one by one through each individual figure, and we'll break down some comparisons and things like that like we usually do. Do. But before we do that, we do need to get into the accessories because I think I think this retailed for 60 bucks, maybe 64.99. And you know the Target exclusive Raw Anniversary three pack with one, two, three kid Razor Ramon and Undertaker just dropped at Target, and it is about 64.99. So I want you guys to understand completely what you're getting: three elites, accessories, all these different things. Is it worth it? We're gonna find out today, man. Let's dive into the accessories you get with the Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate three pack. All right, guys. So getting into the accessories that you get with this three pack, I mean, I think it's a pretty good amount. Now, when you throw in three elites, you got a lot of different moving parts here. I'm excited for it. Let's get into the cloth goods that you get. Now, starting off first, we do have the white bloodline shirt. This is the white variant of the black bloodline shirt that we got with the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns not too, too long ago, as you guys can see with the graphic right there. Actually working on something that has to do with this. You guys will see it at a later date, but I wish they would give us the white Acknowledge Me shirt or the white Head of the Table shirt or one of those shirts because we already had this shirt. You know, did I need the white version? Not really. I like the white white version. I think it looks clean. The black version looks sick too, you know, but I really want the acknowledge me or head of the table shirt in white. I think that would have been nice, but it is a Velcro back shirt and it fits the figure well as you guys saw. I like this. Next up is an accessory that I popped super hard for, man. The flannel vest here for the Brock Lesnar. It's on the packaging. It's like black and white. This is more of like a navy and like light gray and dark gray or navy. It's, very, it's not black and white, I'd say. Like, I guess you could say that but it looks like it has a blue hint over it. On camera, it looks like it's black and white, though, which is kind of weird. But then in person, it has a lot more, like, gray over it. It's very odd. Like, I'm looking at it in person, and I'm looking through the screen, and I'm actually tripping ball sack right now. But this is sick as hell. It fits the figure like a glove, and I am so excited to have this. One thing I am bummed out about, though, is now I want the flannel vest with the Bro Brock Lesnar stuff on the back. You guys know what I'm talking about? And I think when he debuted that shirt, I saw him live in Birmingham, like, a year ago, and 
and I really want that flannel and figure form, so maybe we can get that, but this one's sick as hell. This one is still sick as hell. I think it looks very, very clean. The pockets on here, very nicely done, and then you also get the black undershirt, which is very similar to the Jeff Hardy one that we got, but it is Velcro, which doesn't really bother me that much, but now I feel like I need to get a second Amazon 3-pack to have a shirtless Brock Lesnar in jeans, right? Like, I need a shirtless Brock Lesnar in jeans. I need the flannel vest. I need the black undershirt. Like, help me. I have issues, but this looks badass, man. This is sick as hell. I'm so glad. That, that makes it worth it alone. The Brock Lesnar figure makes this pack worth it alone. We also have the Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates. Very, very clean. I think it looks great. Roman Reigns side plates look good. You guys know that they're slowly trying to implement those side plates, those custom side plates for certain superstars into the line, and this looks good here with the Blue Universal title. You know, it fits well because, you know, he's been toting that thing forever, so you just throw it on your Roman, and then bam, it, it's fixed, so that looks good to me. I like the Universal Championship. We also get a modern microphone. It's just the, you know, like the triangle mic pad with the WWE modern logo all the way around. We've seen multiples of these in the past. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get two pairs of these. One pair comes on Paul Heyman, and then they give you an extra pair for the Brock Lesnar figure because they all the skin, same skin tone, so you do get the mic holding hands. You have the You Can't See Me Finn Balor entrance hands. One of my fingers looks dislocated there, but I have like eight hundred million of these so it's not a big deal but you do get the wide you know number five or whatever the hell hands you want to call these you also get fisted hands i'd like to see what the new elite andre the giant from elite 100 hands would look like on a brock lesnar that's something i'm i'm curious to look at but you do get fisted hands and then for the roman reigns elite you get a fisted gauntlet hand and then a fisted non-gauntlet hand obviously because he wears the gauntlet on the right side but this is the same interchangeable hands we got with the ultimate it even has the sculpt there on the gauntlet and it has the black outline and and then you also get mic holding hands or object holding hands with the sculpted gauntlet on the right side for obvious reasons. It's even got the glove sculpted in there, which looks good. And then you have the non-gauntlet hand. All right, guys, so getting into the Roman Reigns figure first, this head sculpt is brand new. It is brand new, but it's so similar to his other head sculpts. And they didn't really fix anything about the fade on the side of the hair or nothing like that. I think this figure would have looked a lot better, or this head sculpt, I should say, if the beard was thicker. They had that, like, trimmed out. We still don't have, like, a lighter beard up top it fades into the thicker beard with the fade on the side of the haircut like all this is supposed to be a fade with like a hard line they didn't give us any of that it's all the same sculpt we've seen except they did change his facial expression which i don't hate it's kind of like a smirk or a pissed off look to the left not my favorite but not terrible it's just i really want to see a man bun head sculpt that doesn't look like the same one we've gotten i need the sculpted beard the fade that is the roman reigns that i'm looking for very similar to the custom head sculpts that i have had made by bew like like something like this is more accurate than what I'm looking for. I love this head sculpt. I think it's more accurate. It really brings out all the details. So that, that's more of what I'm looking for. However, going down to the torso, this is basically from the neck down. This is the top talents. Elite Roman that we have seen multiple times. Double jointed arms. Tattoos look very clean. They fill up the shoulder, which is always nice. Black gauntlet over here. Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns gauntlet over here with the black and black. It has the red and black details. It looks really good there. You have the same crotch, legs, back tattoo, all the good stuff going on here. Same legs that we've seen for just decades decades now it feels like but seriously though we've seen these boots and this this you know these pants or joggers or cargo pants we've seen these for years and years but that is the roman reigns so for your roman reigns figure comparisons you do have the elite amazon three pack in the middle and then you have the custom mdt live like bloodline pick fed roman reigns you have the elite top picks that was the most uh you have the most recent Elite Top Picks one that I think is hitting retail now. No, this one. This one's the one. This is the one we got last year with the gold gauntlet. You have the Ultimate Edition that's missing one of the, you know, the red gauntlet with the ponytail head sculpt and black bloodline shirt. And then you have the Top Talents Elite Roman Reigns with the Ultimate Edition head sculpt on there that this is the one because it doesn't have the black details. This one I actually found at retail the other day. However, they're all very similar. We're going to continue to get Romans like this at a clip. You know, I'm just hoping that we get updated head sculpts. And we have a lot more Romans that we could compare, but they're all the way up there on the top shelf and I ain't getting all those damn things down but all these Romans look great I love collecting Roman Reigns figures one thing I'm just now noticing is is that accurate did he add like a little tattoo right here because this one does this one have that all right hold up now so we pull the head of the table shirt off of this Roman you guys can see here oh this tattoo's not really it kind of is messed up but this Roman right here the new Roman that we just got is this accurate this little triangle right there and then the rest is like empty I don't think that's accurate like look at this one right 
right here. This one's different too. It's like all of them have different tattoos and stuff. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. What is that, bro? I mean, I get, like, I love the way, like, what pisses me off is, like, this shoulder looks immaculate. Like, look how it fills up the entire shoulder panel. Like, the whole deltoids cover, like, that looks immaculate. That looks amazing. You're not gonna get much better than that, how covered the shoulder is. But then if this right here is messed up, that, like, completely ruins the whole illusion. I'll have to look into that or what it's supposed to look like, but it's definitely got a gap right there, and I don't know if that's accurate. Like, he added that, this little triangle piece, and then the rest is accurate. I don't know. Anyways, that's your Roman Reigns figure comparisons. That's gonna bother the hell out of me, though. I guess if I put a shirt on him, it won't be the big deal, but God in heaven. All right, man, so getting into the Paul Heyman, what an upgraded Paul Heyman figure, man. This is our second Paul Heyman style figure we're going to be getting this year. As you guys know, we have the Legends Polly Dangerously coming soon. Very excited for that figure as well, but this head sculpt is phenomenal, bro. I, like, absolutely nailed it with Paul Heyman. I love the body, too. This new suit body we got is, you know, for the larger side, which fits Paul Heyman. No offense or, you know, with all due respect. Looking great here. I love the suit jacket. It's like a navy colorway. You do have the double jointed pinless arms here. The shoulders. Very quality going on. You can even see like the, the shirt underneath. It looks like there's a vest underneath or maybe they just, just didn't continue the paint down. But nonetheless, it doesn't look bad. He's got the royal blue tie. Very, very cool going down. And then he does have the build-a-figure legs, which I don't mind. You know, we do have that Mr. Perfect build-a-figure coming soon. Or not too, too soon, but you know, it's coming in the SummerSlam build-a-figure wave. And it's got some newly sculpted legs but these look good and he's got the brown shoes to go with the navy suit very sick figure man i love this and then of course bought up top and he has the you know the the hair in the back there no ponytail anymore unfortunately always love me some paul Heyman ponytail but this is a sick figure man i love this i think they did a fantastic job on it my only figure comparison is that i do have this like jim ross build a figure or maybe this isn't the jim ross this might be i don't even remember who this was does anybody remember who this was i don't it wasn't michael cole maybe it was jim ross but i don't think it was but it could have been or maybe it is the paul i don't think it's the paul Heyman though is this the paul Heyman build a figure nonetheless i do have the paul Heyman head sculpt in here and you know this is good for like a cartoony basic this head sculpt's good for a cartoony Heyman, but this one looks just like paul Heyman, bro like that's ridiculous the era that we're in for mattel is just just mind-blowing man unbelievable but as far as the figure's articulation i mean he he feels fantastic man he doesn't have the greatest ab crunch but i mean you're getting double jointed arms here shoulders go out bicep swivel you know it's build a figure leg so he can get into all the positions you need him to he even has you know he'll sit in a chair and all that stuff it, this figure feels fantastic what a great figure i think this is uh an underrated figure this figure is going to be slept on all year this is one of the uh better suited figures i think we've seen and then for more comparisons here's the ultimate edition brock lesnar and the new elite roman that is in this three pack just so you guys can see exactly what he looks like up next to these two guys if you want to put them on your shelf or display i like them both i think they both look really good up next to Heyman. The Heyman figure is just unbelievable, man. My God. And getting into the last figure in this three pack is going to be the Brock Lesnar figure. Now, it does feature the Elite 99 and Elite 96 head sculpt. So, we've seen the Smiley Brock head sculpt. It also came with the Ultimate. So, we've seen this head sculpt already a lot. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come on some basic figures and stuff like that. But it does have the Brock Lesnar torso. He's got like the new striated shoulders, which look good. I love this formula for him. I think the arms are nice size. He's got all of his tattoos going going on that look great i love the paint detail on these pants and i want to say this is a brand new crotch piece i don't think we've seen this crotch piece before like this belt sculpt and this new crotch right here but the paint looks absurd i'm trying my best to get it on camera but there's some subtle dry brushing going on on these pants that really makes the shading and the jeans look insane like the denim on here is crazy good i think it looks fantastic they did an excellent job on this brock lesnar and then he does have the black boots not sure if this is accurate i'll have to go back and see you know what exactly you know his footwear was looking like because i would like to make it accurate but this brock lesnar can pose around great he's got a tight waist you know arms go all the way up you got the double jointed knee double jointed arms in here i mean dude what a just great figure and then you put the flannel and the shirt on there and he just looks like he's gonna rough you up oh my god bro this this like last few months of lesnar figures has really made me happy they have just been too too quality here so for your brock lesnar figure comparisons guys here is the amazon three-pack Brock. We have the Elite 99 Brock. We have the Ultimate Edition 15 Brock and then the Elite 96 Brock and I love all four of these figures, man. I have been, if you guys are aware, I rated this the
the number one Elite of 2022, and this was the number one Ultimate of 2022, and the Elite 96 Brock was a great figure as well, and this one is going to be up there on the Elites of 2023. I mean, I am just having so much fun with the Brock Lesnar's. I've always loved Brock Lesnar. I've always had him as just one of the most underrated talents. People don't really give him the credit because of, you know, some of the circumstances, some of the different things that have gone on, you know, in the booking and things like that, but at the end of the day, I love Brock Lesnar, and his figures are so fun to collect. I mean, look at how unique all four of these are, but again, man, I need another one of these just in jeans with no shirt on. I have to do it, and yeah, I just, do this this ultimate, if you enjoy action figures, you need this Brock Lesnar. If you, if you don't want any other Brock Lesnar figure ever, get this one. This one's cool, too, and all of them are amazing, in my opinion, but this ultimate Brock right here, it is just, it is built different, and I'm not, that's not just a cliche thing to say. It is built different. I don't know what the hell they did. It's like the fucking plastic was made in better quality. I can't even explain it. Go buy it. But I think that pretty much wraps up this Amazon exclusive WWE Elite Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3-pack featuring Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Paul Heyman, man. Really like this 3-pack a lot. I don't know if it's available on Amazon right now. Wish I had an affiliate link down low. I could put it up there for you guys. Maybe something to look into for the future. Speaking of things for the future, man, lots of things in the works behind the scenes right now. Hopefully to be cleared up in the next week or so. Maybe two weeks because there's there's like some different things like little logistics and things like that I gotta take care of, but I really appreciate you guys, man. I like this 3-pack a lot. I highly recommend it, but I have been absolutely in love with all of the Brock Lesnar figures we've been getting. I love this Roman Reigns. You guys know that I love collecting Roman Reigns. I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt. I feel like the head sculpt, like it's not a bad head sculpt, but it's not changed enough from the other head sculpts we've seen. The new Paul Heyman Elite is chef's kiss. Fantastic Paul Heyman. I think the head sculpt's fantastic. The double jointed arms, I like it. My legs are a little loose, but at the end of the day, I love the navy jacket. I think it is a damn good figure. Definitely an upgrade from what we've seen before. I like the Universal Championship with the Roman Reigns side plates. This is basically the ultimate gauntlet on the top picks Roman Reigns, the last two top picks Roman Reigns with a new head sculpt. Love the new white bloodline shirt. I wish we got the white acknowledge me shirt or the white head of the table shirt, but I'll take this one. I still think it's fire. The Brock Lesnar accessories are chef's kiss as well. Pairing that figure with our Chase 99, our Elite 99, our Ultimate, our Elite 96, the Brock Lesnar figures have been hitting different, man. They're, they're fantastic. I love them. I love this Brock, and I like that we're getting a different look, not just the overalls, but you get the sleeveless flannel. Loki wish they would have given us the flannel with his logo on the back. I think that would have been better, like we discussed, but at the end of the day, I like this three-pack a lot, and I highly recommend it. I, th I think it is damn good and worth it. However, man, that is going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts on this three-pack down below. My only thing... Now, remember, this isn't something you can get at... Ro at this is not something you can get at Ringside Collectibles, so you are going to have to go over to Amazon. It is Amazon exclusive. Do not forget that, but... That is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And I guess just don't back down or whatever the hell the new slogan is. Got to get on that. Got to come up with something new. But I did add the You Cross the Line to the intro so we can still live on through it. And I did get a brand new rotating base, as you guys saw. I got like a few different colors. I felt like the black kind of hit different, so I went with that. But I'm getting out of here. We'll never back down. We will not relent.